today we are doing a couple quick and easy IKEA hacks that are perfect for summertime. As I'm getting my patio ready for the summer months, I wanted to share a couple IKEA hacks with you that are so affordable and easy and perfect for relaxing and enjoying your outdoor space. So let's first start out with the first DIY, and I'm going to be using this IKEA Vildapel plant stand. These cost $15 from IKEA, which is super affordable, and I'm going to turn it into a really cute upholstered stool. I'm starting with this Rust-Oleum Satin Black Spray Paint, and with the legs, I made sure to cover them as completely as I could. I rotated them. I got every little nook and cranny of the legs because you'll really be seeing those. But then for the top of this plant stand here, I only spray painted the bottom. I didn't bother flipping it over because that's going to be covered up, and I just made sure that the bottom looked really nice. After two coats of spray paint had dried, it's time to make the upholstery part. I'm using this piece of upholstery foam here, and I placed the top onto the foam and traced around it with a Sharpie and cut it out with my scissors. Now I'm gonna be using this Klej, I, I don't really know, jute rug. I just think this is super cute. I think these rugs are only one or two dollars from Ikea. And this is what I'm gonna use to upholster the top. First, I cut the rug down to the right size and also rounded it out so that it would fold nice and neat around this round tabletop. Next, using my staple gun, I began stapling First the bottom here like so, then I rotated the tabletop and put a staple on the opposite side, making sure to pull the rug nice and taut. And then I repeated that by rotating it again by 90 degrees, putting in a staple, rotating at 180 degrees, putting it in a staple, and I did that all the way around the entire plant stand. Next, to clean it up a little bit, I decided to switch to a longer staple and folded in the little frayed edges of this stool here and stapled those down as well. This makes it look nice and neat. And I also tried to trim out these little areas right here, but this was kind of a bad idea because I didn't think about how this is where the legs connect. So be mindful of that if you do duplicate this project to not put a whole bunch of material in this spot. And here is what the finished top looks like, and it looks so good. And then all I had to do was assemble per the IKEA instructions, and that completes this gorgeous stool. Next on the agenda has to be the easiest IKEA hack to ever exist. Like this is just so simple. And I got this inspiration actually from a Facebook ad. And as soon as I saw these two products next to each other in the ad, I immediately ordered them, added them to the cart, and had them shipped here. The base that you need to get this hack started is one of these IKEA Gladom or Gladom tray tables. They are $19, and I got mine in black, but they also do come in a wide variety of colors. As I'm assembling just the table legs right here, I do want to put out a little bit of a full disclosure. I ordered this table off of IKEA over a month ago and it still hasn't shipped. So I ended up buying it off of Amazon. So I'm not 100% certain if this is like the exact model of the Gladom table that they're currently selling or an older one. And it was $10 more expensive, but I was super dedicated to this table DIY. And I'll be sure to link the Amazon and Ikea tables in the description box. Once I had just the legs together, I flipped the table over so that the top now became the bottom. Next, we're gonna need one of these IKEA Summer Drome Rattan trays. And all you have to simply do is set it right down in place where the metal tray went. But since that's not super stable, I decided that I was going to add some zip ties to hold it into place. Since I'm gonna be keeping this table outside, I do not need this lightweight tray blowing off my third floor balcony or breaking or whatever the case may be. So simply adding a couple zip ties along the supports of the tray to connect it to the table base was exactly what I needed. 
And since I had that metal tray and the bottom of this table has the crossbars, I decided why not use that to turn this into a two-tiered table. I wanted to create a little decor piece that I could style on that table but that also incorporates my love for plants and wanting to bring a ton of plants into the space. So I'm going to be using this Nippon Ikea flower pot. These are just those really basic pots that they sell. This one was the cheap $4 one and I'm going to make it look like something that is way more on trend. I'm going to be making up the classic baking soda paint mixture and a little hack here. If you can't get your paint open, use a rubber band around the lid if you don't have one of those lid opening grips and it works just as well. And I'm using the color Pale Bloom. It was a house paint sample that I had on hand. That's a little bit of an off-white color and I mixed in an equal ratio of baking soda. The best way to apply baking soda paint is with a sponge brush. So I applied about two coats around the top portion you see here, as well as on the inside of the flower pot and the bottom. I didn't really worry about the bottom section because I will be covering that up. With each subsequent coat, is that how you say that? <laughs> I made sure to kind of layer on the paint a little bit thicker and to create some angled strokes and some texture using that marvelous baking soda technique. Because I wanted this to look even more like a stone texture, I took a little bit of this taupey acrylic paint, dabbed my brush in some water, and then flicked it on to the surface of the flower pot to create this really, really neat texture. I've never used the water hack when doing this kind of speckle and the water really does make a huge difference than just using a dry brush. Once I had the taupey color on, I did the same exact thing with some white acrylic paint just to add some depth and dimension. Next, I am using four four inch small embroidery hoops and only using the inner pieces. So I removed all of the outer parts with a little screw and this is so simple. You just have to start layering them on to this bottom portion here. And the first one will fit on super snugly into place. And then each one that you add afterward, just add a little bit of hot glue to hold it because the bottom of this planter does taper in just a little bit. And it works so well to create this rattan sort of look. And I stumbled upon this idea by accident, but I am so glad I did because this just looks 100 times better than that original Ikea gray plastic pot and as a finishing touch I added three wood beads to the bottom to act as feet this point in the video leave a sun emoji in the comments I just can't believe the results of how easy and affordable these were but now they look like high-end decor pieces that are going to look so great when I style them up on my patio and just as a little plug that patio makeover is actually coming in one week from this video so if you don't want to miss that make sure that you're subscribed make sure you turn on the notification bell that way you're notified when that video goes live thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you on my next one bye Bye.